How, how did you get in? Did they send another submersible? Quick, we have to get out of here. We have to get away. No! No, we have no time. We have to leave now. No. I managed no. to close the door after they killed everyone else, but I don't know how long it will hold. We have to. We have to leave. The cell calf, they went crazy. They started killing anything that moved. Someone must have triggered the defense systems, too, because all the droids activated as well. I was one of the mercs the Republic sent down here to find out what happened. We came down and secured the first couple of rooms. There were bodies everywhere. And the cell calf came out, screaming and croaking their fishy little war cries. Their fishy little war cries? Fucking racist. They're dead. All dead. They swarmed out and over us. There was no way we could stop them, so we ran. But hardly any of us made it. I locked the door behind us, but but the others had already left in the submersible. The sharks, the Feroxa out there, and worse. I heard an explosion shortly after the submersible left. They didn't make it. Just food for the sharks and the cell calf. Like us. What? No. <laughs> You're one of them. You'll never get me. Oh, yeah? All right, bitches. Shock, shock. Shocking, isn't it? Got something on your... Oh, I... Useless. I figured it was, but might as well check. Not this again. You cannot win. can I do?
Thanks. It's so weird that that's where they decided to put it. Can I help? Nope. Then I suggest you can't. Somebody out there? Fishy, fishy, fishy. <laughs> Come and eat me too. <laughs> you can't get me, I little fishy. Not me here. I'm out. safe behind my walls. I don't, I don't think I can force persuade him to come out. Haha! <laughs> That's what you think? Fishy think that too. These walls and door are six centimeters. No, twelve centimeters of dura steel. I'm invulnerable behind my walls. Nobody's getting in here. <laughs> The cell curse went insane and started killing everybody. I locked myself in here. I'm safe in here. Nothing can hurt me in here. No fishy food for me. No, 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 no. That's what the others said. Mercenaries like you, but they're dead. Stalkat ate them. Lunchy munchy. Only the ones left in the south part of the base might still be alive, or where the culto is. Few fishies there, but many, many, many fishies in between the water. No, no, no. Only the ones left in the... Don't know. Go ask them. <laughs> when the demon screamed, it shook every mind in the station. We fell to the ground but survived. Fishy, fishy, though, they just got hungry. <laughs> fishy, fishy. They just got hungry. No, no. Only the... Bye-bye. Go look for fishy people. They'll chomp and bite and chomp and bite. Food for fishy. That's you. some extra light in here. I'm here. I'm here. You cannot win. Damn it! Boy, 
Yes, now that must be. See what you got. Cass, I can see that much. Are you another rescue crew? I'm a merc the Republic hired a couple days ago to investigate. But all we found was a bunch of insane Cellcaps killing everything that moves! All my companions are dead. The Cellcaps swarmed over us. There were dozens of them! And they... they looked... wrong... somehow. Wrong. Like something had changed inside them. Insane or something! Oh, I'd have gone back to the surface long ago if this complex hadn't been overrun by all those crazy cell calves. There's no way for me to get to the submarine docking bay. I discovered a way to get to the bay and seal off the rest of the base. I just have to find the Colto Harvester they built on the edge of the Hracker Rift. It's got an emergency override to open the doors to the submarine docking bay. And I could get in from the outside. I figured my only chance was to slap on an environment suit, head out onto the ocean floor, and check that harvester out for myself. Besides, it's gotta be safer out on the ocean floor than back in there with all those crazed cell calf mutants running around looking for dinner! Looking for dinner! Dinner! I'm not spending another minute in this facility! Not with those psychotic fish people all over the place! I'm heading out to the ocean floor right now. It leads to another complex of buildings. Going through them is the only way to reach the Colto Harvester. We should probably stick together, but I won't wait around in here with the cell calf. 
You can catch up with me if you want. Down the hall and through the doors on the right. I'll be waiting on the ocean floor where it's safe. Come on, hurry up! Don't just stand there, we have to keep moving! The water is filled with gas- no! <laughs> <laughs> I forget how I do this, so I, I have to like... Stun them and hit them. Easy enough. Squat, 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 squat. It was so funny how in the uh, big facility we made the made the big metal shoe sounds, and then once you come out here, it's like step, 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 step. That was a very close. Dark side. Don't you see? There's no going back for me. Stasis field really does. No, you can't come in here. 
You'll let the Phyraxa and the Selkath in. No, stay out! Stay out! I won't let you open the door for those monsters to get in. I'll stop you. I'll suck all the pressure out of the chamber. That'll stop you. Kill them! Kill them now! 60 seconds to complete depressurization. 54 seconds to complete depressurization. No, no. The Phyraxa will get us. No, the Selkath are coming. No! 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 Ah! Oh, Jesus Christ, that's not good. I... I'm sorry for what I did. Uh, I don't know what came over me. I, I... I just panicked when I heard someone outside the door. <sighs> Please forgive me. I'm just so scared. We're both just scared. When the Selkath went crazy, I thought everyone else except me and Sammy went mad. We had a few people outside the station yeah, when it happened. Yeah, you guys are definitely not the crazy. The fracks and sharks just tore them apart. It was it was like they were frenzied. The next thing we knew, our Selkath researchers started screaming and, 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 and clawing at everything around them. My team? My team was torn apart and eaten before my eyes. Sammy and me? Well, I, yeah. I thought we were the only ones it. left. We heard the Selkath outside the doors every once in a while, and... Those strange noises echoing through the base. We thought everyone was dead. Dead or insane. I must have been hysterical. I, I don't know what I can say. I truly apologize for the horrible mistake I was making. I'm Kono Nolan, and this is Sammy. We were scientists working here on the Harakard Rift project. Look, I'm sorry. I have just been under a lot of strain recently. You know, the whole thing about having my entire research team devoured before my eyes. Kono, Kono, calm down. Don't talk to him like that. We've gone through a lot, and we said we were sorry for the mistake we made. Just, I'm sorry for my actions, but, but what are you doing here? Oh, okay. What is it you want to know? We had a secret agreement with the moderates in the Selkath government. They knew that Manan could not survive independently if the Sith were victorious. Those thugs would wipe out the whole damn planet just to get at the Kolto. So the Republic approached them about making this secret installation to harvest more Kolto, where the Sith couldn't see us. But all that went horribly, horribly wrong. We don't know. Not for sure. The work teams were outside in the rift, near the vent. Then there was this rumbling, and my head felt like it was splitting open. This... this monster rose up from the rift. It was a Phyraxa shark, I think. Bigger than anything I'd ever seen before. Bigger than our submersibles. It was like it was screaming inside my head. Then all the Selkaths started screaming, too. And they turned on us. It may... It may have been. Maybe it was protecting the ruins by the rift. It could have been. It might have a lair in the Harakard Rift near the Kolto vent. Hmm. That might explain a few things, too. I don't know. It seems impossible, but maybe whatever sort of power it used to drive the Selkath insane masked it from us somehow. Maybe it was lying dormant deeper in the rift. I think it might live there. Live there because of the Kolto. Maybe. That would explain more. Like, why it reacted so violently when our construction efforts got closer to the vent. And also, why it's so large. It must be feeding off the Kolto. It would have to be ancient indeed for it to reach that size. But with Kolto as a food source... And all those other Phyraxan sharks? Those might be its offspring. Which would be why they all swarmed when it called out to them. Children coming to protect their mother. That would be suicide! It's out there still! Out there, waiting for us. The Phyraxan sharks have always been a serious problem. We had some blasters and projectile cannons to defend against them, but they still got some of our workers from time to time. We were working on a soluble chemical compound that would drive them away. Something that smelled or tasted repulsive to them, but we never got it working right. Oh, I think not. 
Even flawed like it is, it should be ideal for this situation. No, it's not working right. You don't know what it'll do. The repellent we made was supposed to drive Firaxin sharks away, but we never got very far in its development. The one we tested instead was violently toxic to them, rupturing their outer skin in seconds and preventing them from drawing oxygen from the water by clogging their intakes. Which is exactly what we need in this situation. Something to kill that monster shark that destroyed our station. But we don't know how else the chemical reacts. We only tried it in a controlled environment. In the open ocean, who knows what it could do? It could even affect the culto. We know exactly what it'll do. It'll kill the shark. That's what we designed it to do. You don't need to do anything else. We have a canister of the toxin here right now. We were working on it before the giant Firaxin drove all the Selkath insane. All you need to do is insert it into the main culto harvester and have it vent it. Get away as soon as you can. We don't know how much worse it'll affect the giant Firaxin shark. Well, the monster seems to have been driven out by the machinery we installed at the edge of the rift. We've seen it out there on the cameras, bashing itself against the machines. I think if you could destroy the machinery we installed, the shark would calm down and retreat back into its lair inside the rift. You can reprogram the harvesting machines to overpressure their self-oxidizing fuel so that the fuel tank canisters will rupture and the entire machine will destroy itself. The hydroleum gas we use is a gas at 1 to 3 million sangin, a liquid at about 4 million sangin, and a solid above that. When it's a liquid, it's very explosive. If you inject enough of the hydroleum gas into the tank, the pressure will be so great that it'll turn to liquid form and start a chain reaction inside the machine. But, but we'll lose everything we've built here. All those years of work. It's better than whatever your chemical will do to the water. There we go. What? That's what I like. No! Yeah. Run, Kono! She's one of them! I really need to say Thank you. 
Und Oh, that's right. I gotta get it to four. Okay. Set two. got to get down to one. So, yeah, dump the injector.
I couldn't figure it out. I'm dumb. See, that proves how bad not only my at uh, like normal combat stuff, but also just at uh, puzzles. I'm just gonna figure out how to make another two because I only have two. Uh... Yep, can do it. Uh -huh. It's okay. I'll figure it out next time. Maybe I could save over and try it over a few times. That didn't do anything to him. Save over that because this is kind of similar. Wait, we've got that from before, so now let's start doing this one. Or let's just do this one. Damn it! Poison! I'm here. I'm here. Alright, let's see if I also get that special uh, lightsaber. Because I believe the last time I tried to do this, it didn't work. Right here. At last, my search is over. I was beginning to fear someone else had killed you and deprived me of the pleasure. You may have defeated the pathetic bounty hunter my master sent after you, but you are no match for me. I have studied at the foot of the Dark Lord himself. Bring it. Your words mean nothing to me, unless you wish to beg for your life. No? Then I shall try to make this both quick and painful. Let's do it. Damn it! Poison! 
you shall fall. I didn't get it again. That sucks. I guess I don't know how to get it because that's what it says to do online is uh, make sure that this is the third planet you do it on. because now that's the second time that I've done it and it didn't work, so I probably am doing it. Yes? What? Okay, so now there's this one that I'm currently doing. There's that one. Now I'm going to go over this one too, I guess. No, that's the one before, so this is going to be the one. How unfortunate. I also don't remember how to do this fucking... You've returned. Trial. I was beginning to fear that this you too might have been lost. Did you find out what had happened down there at the facility? Insane. What did they do? And why? They killed everyone? And the mercenaries we sent later? That... It's horrible. What caused them to all go insane at once like that? Something was down there? Living in the rift by the Colto? That's horrible. The entire operation wasted by a disaster we could never in a thousand years have foreseen. What has happened to the facility itself? Were there any survivors? No, that is terrible. That will set our work back years. It may even cost us the war. While I am glad that you were able to solve our problems, the cost may have ended up being much too high. But you have done your job and helped us in our time of need. And for that, I thank you. I'm sorry, oh, man. I'm not very good and at And did you end levels. up finding your star map? I'll assume that means yes. As you can see, by helping us, you helped yourself. Perhaps we can work together in the future. Thank you. 
And what's funny is they've they've already tried me once, and now they're gonna come back, and they're just gonna be like, "We kind of don't believe a fucking thing you say." I doubt the Republic would be involved in anything illegal. Still, if this Selkath has concerns, we could look into it for him. Be careful here, kid. Start poking your nose in a place it doesn't belong, and you might not like what you find. Then steal a dusty storm of this. Probably not gonna do that. I'm just head to Corbin.
crystals. But no Darth Band and lightsaber. That sucks. Or do I? Is that his? Pretty sure that might be bandits. Yep. Or I just don't have mine on. I think that's the case. Just didn't have mine equipped. Yeah, those are the same. Darn it. What happened? What's going on? Sith interdictor ship. They must have been waiting for us on the hyperspace route. We're caught in their tractor beam. Do you recognize the ship? It's the Leviathan. Saul Karath's vessel. My old mentor. My old mentor. Admiral Karath taught me everything I know about being a soldier. He was a legend in the Republic fleet, and a hero to me, until he betrayed us. When the Sith attacked my homeworld, the Leviathan, which is Saul Karath's flagship, was at the head of the fleet. My family was destroyed that day, and my wife died in the Sith bombardment. I did forget to go to Yavin. That is not the way of the Jedi. Vengeance, anger, emotion. These things lead to the dark side. I'm not gonna do anything stupid. I mean, I won't throw our lives away in some mad quest for vengeance, but if I get a chance to kill Saul during our escape, nobody better get in my way. Talk of an escape is somewhat premature, don't you think? We don't even have a plan to get out of this mess yet. And I'll admit, it won't be easy. Saul's no fool, and he won't underestimate us either. You can count on plenty of guards watching every move we make. Maybe Admiral Karath doesn't know how many of us there are on board. We all have special talents. Talents we could exploit so that one of us could stage a rescue. We just have to figure out who has the best chance to avoid capture so they can come and rescue us later. It's a long shot, but it's our only hope. The Admiral will be watching the three of us far too closely for any plot involving you, me, or Karth to succeed. It's going to be up to one of the others to get us out of this. Well, if we're gonna pick someone to save our skins, we better do it quick. In another minute, we're gonna have Sith troops marching up our loading ramp.
I don't think I could use my force powers to convince a whole squadron of troopers to let me go free, but maybe I can use it to get them to take me to a separate cell. They'll probably only leave a single guard to watch over an old man like me. I could use the force to convince the guard to set me free. Then I could free the rest of you. Hold on. They're dragging us into the docking bridge. Bastila, Karth, and the crew have been taken prisoner as you ordered, Commander. Excellent. Have you searched the ship thoroughly? Admiral Karath warned me to be on alert for any kind of treachery. We found an old man in the back. I, I think we should keep him separate from the others for questioning. A strange request. And why do you think this old man should be segregated? I, I'm not sure, Commander. After speaking with him, I just, I, I just think we should question him away from the others. I, I agree, Commander. After speaking with the old man, I think we should question him away from the others. Very well. The Admiral is probably too busy to bother with this old man anyway. Take him to solitary confinement for interrogation. Report back to me if you learn anything. Karth, it has been far too long since we last spoke. I see the recent months have not been kind in your case. I barely recognized you. But I recognize you, Saul. I see your face every night, even as I promise myself I will kill you for what you did to my homeworld. Did you learn nothing in your time under me? As a soldier, you should understand that casualties were unavoidable. This was an act of war. It was a cowardly act of betrayal. Your fleet bombed a civilian target into oblivion without warning or provocation, and the blood of those innocent people is on your hands. In war, even the innocent must die. The Sith would not accept me until I proved I had truly turned my back on the Republic by bombing the planet. My wife died in that attack, Saul. And for that, I swear I'll kill you. You used to be a man of action, not of empty words. Cling to your lust for revenge if you must, but spare me your tired threats. I've heard them all before. You're an insignificant part of these events anyway. Lord Malak is far more interested in your Jedi companions. He has great plans for them. We will never serve Malak or the Dark Side. The Sith will be destroyed, Admiral Karath, as will you if you don't turn away from this path. Your words are brave, Bastila, but the lure of the Dark Side is hard to resist. Or so I've been told. I wonder if your companion is as devoted to the light as you are. Your loyalty is as fickle as ever, I see. Malak will find that amusing, though I seriously doubt he will want you of all people at his side. The Dark Lord would probably reward me if I just killed you once and for all, but he may want to question you given the trouble you've caused him, and the history between you. You mean... Oh, this can't be true, can it? You really don't know what's going on here, do you? Well, I won't be the one to deprive Malik of the pleasure of telling you himself. The Dark Lord will no doubt torture you for information and for his own twisted pleasure. Eventually, you will tell him everything. The Sith can be very persuasive. However, Lord Malak is in another sector. It may be some time before he arrives, so I suppose I will have to fill in for him until then. Activate the torture fields. Ah! Enough. I don't want them to pass out before I question them. Malik will appreciate any information I can give him when he arrives. Don't waste your breath, Saul. We won't answer any of your questions. I'm sure you won't. However, we both know your friend's loyalties have proven in the past to be somewhat flexible. What are you saying? Physical pain is, is nothing compared to the suffering of the galaxy if Malik should defeat the Jedi. It is time to put your loyalty to the test. I doubt torturing you will gain me your true cooperation. Your will is too strong to be broken that way. However, even the strongest of heroes has trouble watching those they care about suffering. The interrogation will begin now. Each time you refuse to answer or give me a false answer, Karth will suffer. You expect me to fall for such a transparent ploy? You travel halfway across the galaxy with someone and you expect me to believe you feel nothing for each other? I tire of these games. Now I want answers. On what planet is the Jedi Academy at which you were trained? No! Don't say any more! An excellent beginning. I'm glad you are being reasonable. This first question was a test. Obviously, Malak knew the Academy was on Dantooine. 
and it has since been destroyed by our fleet. Dantooine is an empty graveyard now. Nothing is there but a smoking ruin and the charred remains of your former masters. A brave front, but your feigned indifference does not fool me. Your masters are eradicated, along with any hope of someone rescuing you. Now, tell me your mission. How were the Jedi planning on using you to stop Lord Malak and our Sith Armada? Why? Why are you telling him this? You should be grateful, Bastila. He is sparing you agony beyond comprehension. Words that betray the Jedi Order bring me more pain than any torture ever could. Tell me, how did you find out about the Star Forge? No. How could you betray the Republic like this? I find your willingness to cooperate pleasing, though it seems your answers are quite upsetting to Karth. Not to worry. We are almost finished here. The information you have given me has been most useful, but I fear our session is over. Lord Malak will want to continue with this line of questioning himself. I will leave you here in your cell with a small taste of the horrors you will suffer when Lord Malak arrives. Ah! Don't try to move too quickly. You might not be fully recovered yet. Admiral Carath had his guards continue to torture you even after you passed out. They tortured all of us, though you got the worst of it by far. Saul wanted them to make us suffer. He's become some sort of sadistic monster. The dark side has perverted him, Karth. Once you start down the tainted path, it leads you ever further into the depths of evil. I fear he is forever lost. This is not a matter to joke about. If there is one thing we can learn from Saul, it's how the power of the dark side can corrupt even the bravest of heroes. Sorry, forgive me. Snapping at you like that won't help our situation. I suppose I'm taking the news of Dantooine's destruction quite hard. First Taras, now the Academy. Is there no end to the killing? We should have felt a disturbance in the Force when the attack came. The fact that we did not is a bad sign. I fear the dark side is growing stronger, casting shadows our vision cannot pierce. I can only hope that some of the Jedi escaped. Rook, Bendar, Zar. I cannot imagine all of them being gone. In any case, we've lost our one place of refuge in the galaxy. None of this will matter if we don't get out of this prison before Saw gets back. It's so funny, right before all this happened, I was like, okay, I'm just gonna do this cutscene real quick because I got something to do, like, right now. And of course, it's a 15 minute cutscene. It's awesome. Saul mentioned that Lord Malak was on his way. I think the Admiral left to prepare for his arrival and to report the results of our interrogation. I only wish you'd been able to resist the Admiral's questioning. I hope the information you revealed does not bring the entire galaxy under the dominion of the Sith. Your attitude disturbs me. Such selfishness is a sign of the dark side's taint, and it does little to fill me with confidence in you. Forget about it, Bastila. It doesn't matter anyway. I've known the Admiral a long time. I could see that he already knew the answers to the questions he was asking. The interrogation was a sham. Saul was toying with us. He didn't care what we told him. I think it was just an excuse to torture us before Malak arrived. Did you feel that? A disturbance in the Force. The Admiral has sent his message. The Dark Lord knows we're here now. Malak is coming. Well, then we better hope Jolie busts us out of here before he arrives. God... I need to speak with you. What do you want, old man? You better not be trying to cause any trouble, or you'll be sorry. The cell is too drafty. My old bones could catch a chill in here. We don't want that. You better let me out. Ah, uh, yes, it's too drafty in there. Your old bones might catch a chill. We don't want that. Get out of there. You shouldn't have let me out, Sonny. That was wrong. Admiral Kareth won't be too happy with you disobeying his orders. Yes. What I did was wrong. Very wrong. You deserve to be locked up in the cell for disobeying orders. Yes. I deserve to be locked up for disobeying orders. <sighs> what, what just happened? What am I doing in here? Damn you, old man. I'll kill you if I ever get out of here. Then I'll be sure to never let you out. Goodbye, Sonny. <laughs> I really want to slash that. I'll do it in a minute. Ooh, that's a long cutscene. Well, that was fun. We uh, didn't get Bandon's lightsaber and we didn't figure out the... Uh, 
the puzzle, but some good cutscenes.